Welcome, everyone. My name is Ronald, and I am here to talk to you about the latest anime news, beginning with news about the Gundam Build Fighters franchise. To everyone's surprise, I believe, not only have there been three anime series about building Gundam model kits, there will now be a fourth special. This will be set with the characters from the first TV series, Gundam Build Fighters, on some island. It will be called Gundam Build Fighters GM's Counterattack. <laughs> and in general, I believe it will be basically a beach episode for Gundam Build Fighters. So I suppose we can't get away from that, but what can you do? Uh, one moment while Brent plays with the. There we go. Meanwhile, a man in Japan was arrested for selling fake Miyazaki and Makoto Shinkai artwork supposedly signed by the artist. Apparently, this man was pursuing online auctions with these essentially, well, fake pieces of artwork with fake signatures and passing them off as legitimate. And as expected, the Japanese government cracked down on this and said, no, you may not sell fake Miyazaki mer merchandise. That would be wrong. And so the man was arrested. Uh, apparently had quite a few online auctions for this merchandise, but the evildoer has been stopped, so that is good. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, Crunchyroll has announced that it has added some new anime to its roster. Not unusual. What is unusual is that they are adding some older series, which is quite welcome. Things that other people might not have been able to check out. So they are adding Chrono Crusade, El Hazard the Wanderers, End Ride Future Diary, High School Double D New, I know that's not old, but still, and the third, The Girl with the Blue Eye. So good on them for adding some unusual older shows to the, uh, to the situation there. Good on them, good on them. Uh, meanwhile, we will see if we can't turn off the thing. There we go. Finally, we can't stop talking about your name, and so it looks like your name is sliding into home base with 4.7 million U.S. dollars off of its run in U.S. theaters. Not shabby at all, given how that worked. Um, did pretty well in, uh, uh, in America, given the fact that most anime films do quite poorly. I mean, less than a million dollars, usually. That said, this is in comparison to its worldwide take of $350 million. So, you know, it's doing quite well, but not quite compared to the rest of the world. Imagine that. In any event, that's all the news for this week. Pretty slow news this week. And I will see you next week. Thank you very much. Goodbye.